Today we're installing a new Pulsar from Super Chips on my 2020 Gladiator. I need to remove the air intake. A few weeks ago I installed the new, uh, a new Canon air filter, uh, you know, because trucks got to breathe. I decided not to go with the aftermarket box because what I've learned in years past, they don't offer any substantial gain of performance. It's all in the filter. And to me, Canon, it's just simply the best. Here we are removing the Pulsar unit from its uh, package container. Comes with everything you need. Comes with the aluminum bracket, which you'll be replacing your original bracket with. It does come with two um, different slotted holes. Uh, one is for your JT and one is for the JL. Comes with all the necessary bolts and zip ties. I didn't find using any zip ties. Uh, for me, I just removed the uh, rubber fasteners uh, correctly. And um, there's the one cable that needs to be, make sure you need to reconnect that. And it's a ground cable. It's not in the instructions uh, from Super Chips to do so. So as a reminder, make sure you do that. There's a bracket installed with the JL and JT holes uh, marked out for you. Only three bolts hold on the JT unit. That's what the instructions say was going to happen. So uh, they do recommend installing the fourth bolt by itself. Uh, this bolt to say bolt. I know I'm going to get comments. What bolt? No, bolt. So anyway, um, after installing it, I'm going to show a video right now of uh, owning it for, for a week and how great the fuel economy is. Uh, we did have to remove move the AC lines um, out of the way. They were still touching the unit. And um, now that you can see there's enough clearance there, I'm not going to touch the unit anymore. Just move about a half an inch um, to give it space in case you're under engine load that doesn't have any chance of hitting. Oh, that's that one bolt that... Uh, it's been about a week now since installing the Pulsar yeah. Performance chip onto my uh, 2020 Gladiator. And I gotta tell you, I love it. It's working out great for me. Uh, just coming back from doing some off-roading this morning. And I'm currently on, on Economy Drive. And you can just feel the performance when uh, setting it to the next level. I'm gonna do that now. Right now we're currently on stock. Now we're on performance. You can just feel the gear downshift. I was the driving. speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Once I switched it on to performance, I was driving 55. And when you heard the prompter right now, it went up all the way up to 80. And just in a matter of a few seconds. Uh, and that was me not pressing more on the gas pedal. Uh, it just has a lot of get up and go. I put it down a toe, I can feel the gear switch down. Now I'm back on economy, I can feel the gear go up. The truck is now starting to slow down to 55 miles an hour. Uh, after using it on economy for about a week, uh, I'm just about a little bit over a half a tank of gas. And I have traveled about uh, 180 miles in just a little over a half a tank. Now that's me not having a lead foot. That's just me doing my regular driving. Uh, I only use this Jeep. Basically, I just bought it for off-road. But since I am using it in the city and I'm driving it on 37s, um, it's worked out good. The current mileage on the vehicle is uh, 1100 and 10 miles on it. Uh, I put the uh, chip in at about what was it? Uh, about 900 miles. So I gotta tell you, I'm loving it. I recommend people buy it. It's worked out great. In conclusion, in the video um, while I'm driving, I did say it did use a little over a half a tank. What I meant to say is that. Um, it had a little over a half a tank of gas and it drove about 180 miles uh, on eco mode 
and um, I mean that I think that's great for riding in a Jeep on 37s you guys know what I'm talking about uh, comparing this unit to the flash pack which I had for my JK Wrangler and um, I had the pedal commander on my uh, Tundra Pro also purchased the same pedal commander for my Toyotas you know Toyota doesn't like to share its technology and and um, very difficult to purchase aftermarket parts um, in performance wise that's why I'm back in a Jeep baby well there's the video hope you enjoyed it thank you